Come on, Memphis. You know what? I want to see a radiator shop. See? A radiator shop. I don't even know what a radiator does in my car. I know it does something and I know I need it. Now, that's not why I'm here though. Oh, you just saw why I'm here. Well, you read the title. Sun Studios, Memphis, Tennessee. You know who got their start here? Elvis. And Johnny Cash. And Roy Orbison. And Carl Perkins. And Jerry Lee Lewis. Now, I'm gonna show you the outside of the building. I'm gonna go inside, inside, show you the bit of the lobby, the waiting area. Then, I went on a tour a long time ago. So I'm gonna show you pictures from that tour. Because I didn't video it back then. And to go on this long tour again, which is amazing, I highly recommend it, but I don't know if I wanna do it again because I've done it. So I'll show you pictures from the actual inside part of the studio. Right now, let's take a look at the outside of the building. This is where rock and roll began. Now, I believe this is the original building right here. And then they added on here. But this is the original studio part right here. This is at the corner of Union and Marshall in Memphis, Tennessee. And let's go right up to the side. Look at that. Iconic. That sign's iconic. A little bit more. And so is this. Memphis Recording Service. So I believe that was the first name. Sam Phillips started this place. And I believe the first name was Memphis Recording Service. And, yeah, the first rock and roll song was reputedly recorded here. Called Rocket 88. That's what I'm told. That it was recorded here. Now look, let's take a closer look at what that says, okay, together.
Elvis, recorded a couple of songs. One of them was called My Happiness. I believe the flip side was That's Where Your Heartaches Begin. Brought them to Sam Phillips here. He didn't like them. Sam Phillips was the owner, I think I said that already, of Sun Studio. But Elvis hung around like a little studio rat. Hung around for a year before Sam Phillips finally decided, all right, let's give this kid another chance. And they recorded That's All Right. Oh, that's all right now. You know that song? Maybe you do. And they recorded That's All Right in here. And that's what gave him a contract with Sun Studio. The recording of That's All Right. And by the way, those first on My Happiness and That's Where Your Heart Begins, he recorded that for his mom. Aww. And my mother and father brought me here at Sun Studio when I was just a little kid. And still in a love of a king. That still remains to this day, right in here. Thanks, Mom and Dad. And one of my favorite bands of all time, U2, recorded songs for Rylan Home right in here, right around 1988 or so. I'll show you some pictures of that right now. Bono, The Edge, Larry Mullen, and Adam Clayton were in this building and they recorded some songs. I believe it was Angel of Harlem, I think Heartland, When Love Comes to Town with B.B. King. There's four songs they recorded. When Love Comes to Town, Heartland, Angel of Harlem. Can't remember the other one. All right. Of course. If you watch some of my other videos, and yeah, and all of a sudden you notice that there's giant bumps on my forehead, don't worry, it's just mosquito bites from being in Memphis. Anyways, if you watch some of my other videos, you might notice that I like going into alleyways and the backs of places. Because that's where the real sh goes down. This is the back of Sun Studios. What's happening back here? Absolutely nothing right now. But what may be happening back here? Elvis, Johnny Cash, Roy Orbison, Carl Perkins, Jerry Lee Lewis. Come on. They were up to no good back here. You married your cousin, weirdo. And there's the man in black himself, Johnny Cash. And look, he's wearing black there. Oh, Maroon 5, Beck, Liz Fair, Tom Petty. Well, rest in peace, Tom Petty. Gene Simmons. All right. Yeah, Roy Orbison, J.D. Lewis said all that. Ringo, peace and love. Peace and love. Matchbox 20. Hey, I still like them. All right. Henry Rollins. Henry Rollins? Don't get me started. He disses Bono all the time. So I have no patience for Henry Rollins. Dennis Quaid. Recorded the soundtrack, I'm assuming, for Great Balls of Fire here. Great Balls of Fire was made about Jerry Lee Lewis, who, as I just mentioned, married his cousin. Benicio Del Toro. What's going on in this recording studio? Beck, though. That's cool. Beck. The coolest cat himself. Okay. And do you recognize this guy? I'll give you a hint. He usually was wearing dark, dark sunglasses, had a very high voice. Julia Roberts starred in a movie named after the title of one of his songs. Come on. That's right. It's Roy Orbison. And he's happy there. He's not crying. Alright. B.B. King, Howlin' Wolf, Charlie Rich, they all got their start here too. This studio was open to black and white artists alike. Thank you, get a muffler. You hear what I'm saying? So Sam Phillips, if it sounded good, he would put it down on wax right here. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed that little look inside Sun Studios. 
like I said, I've done a tour before. That's why I didn't take you. I'll go all the way inside, show you the pictures from before. What I suggest is when you come to Memphis, you take this tour. It is awesome. And now I'm going somewhere else. Somewhere close by. So I'll probably be wearing the same shirt, which I'm sweating through right now. Oh, I'm sweating, baby. This is Memphis heat, what can I say? All right, let's go. I'm starving, I'm hungry. I had my usual breakfast today of black coffee, one banana, two hard boiled eggs. Here besides Sun Studios, you can come and have some for fun. If you're looking for for fun, here's the Sun Studios. Come to for fun. These little southern towns, well, this is a big city. Man, there's not too much going on. And it's so hot. I think people have to stay inside. It's the only thing I can think of. Why these streets are always so dead in the summer. Never been here in wintertime. I've been in the south in the winter, but not in Memphis. It's not interesting to anybody but me. Okay, look at that building. All right, I'm not done. I'm gonna show you a little bit of Beale Street. Famous Beale Street in Memphis. Home of the blues, rock and roll, you name it. Uh-oh, oh, yeah. I'm at the corner of Beale and BB King. Beale and BB. I'm not eating either because I like alligators. This place is awesome. Wow. I'm going in there, Tater Reds. Rock and roll clothing. I guess I am. I don't think of myself ever as a tourist when I'm in different cities. I don't know why. I guess because I feel like each city feels like home all the time because I love every city I go to. Like I'm basically an idiot. I'm, I love every place I go. But Memphis is awesome. And of course, where do I have to eat? All these great places I'm settling on because it's got a lot of memorabilia on the walls and that's what I like. They have something belonging to Elvis in here. You know, this building right across the street right here where I just ate the Hard Rock Cafe, this is formerly the Lansky Brothers shop where Elvis bought his clothes. Now, a lot of rock stars back in the day, but pre-Elvis pre would buy the clothing here. And Elvis was outside the door, or looking in the window. And one of the Lansky Brothers came up to him and said, hey man, why don't you come in here, let me show you around. Elvis said, well, I can't afford anything, but one day I'm gonna come here and buy you out. And then the Lansky Brothers said, no, 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 just buy everything I have, don't buy me out. This building right here. 